Hello, hello, what's good you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me here. In today's YouTube video, I'm gonna be playing around with some budget-friendly drugstore makeup that I bought from back home in Bahrain. I'm also gonna give you guys a quick life update on what's been going on, why I haven't been that active on YouTube, why I haven't been consistent on Instagram with my posting. A lot of you guys DM'd me, commented, asked me so many questions on what's going on, am I okay, and everything. I'm perfectly fine, you guys. Thank you so much for your concern everything is good but there's been so many recent developments that i have found it very very difficult to sit down and actually create content and creating content for me is so so important because not only is it my full-time job but it also brings me this joy and happiness when i get to talk about things that make me so happy so when i wasn't able to do that i got honestly so sad and like i had massive mood swings because i just couldn't sit down to work all about that in today's video i'm going to be playing around with so much makeup and i'm so excited to show you all of it so here's my little listen bag I got this with I think one of my listen orders or in PR and these are all the makeup products you guys we can do a whole face of makeup with all of these products I'm really excited to show you what's in this also all of these are cruelty free majority of these are vegan as well I think that is amazing very quickly this is what the makeup look is gonna look like I think it looks super elegant super classy very wearable for events evening party makeup i think this looks super stunning now if this is the first time you're watching me then hi my name is preeti i'm india's first cruelty free beauty blogger i talk about all things cruelty free which means products that are not tested on animals a lot of the products that i talk about are also vegan so if this is the kind of content you resonate with that you want to watch more of then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video I'm going to start off with primer. So this is something I think you can get in India as well. This is the black clay primer for minimizing pores and it's great for oily skin. I'm not going to use it all over my face. This does have a very nice gray kind of a color. I'm going to use this just on visible pores and not all over my face because I have combination skin and I just want to focus on the T-zone and the cheeks that get super oily that have very very visible pores. I'm using the mirror of my Naughty Nude palette of Huda Beauty because it is massive. I can see my entire face so clearly. Also I can see up close and personal how beautifully the primer has primed my skin. The pores look airbrushed, literally airbrushed and it doesn't feel very dry. It gives me a very nice finish on the skin. I really like it. Now for concealer I'm going to use my Catrice concealer. This is the liquid liquid camouflage high coverage concealer this is the perfect shade for me we're gonna use my regular techniques of dotting right here right here at the end this is something that I've been doing for so long and I'm so happy that it's in trending again to give you a nice lift it's a makeup artist hack honestly so a quick life update you guys as soon as I got back from Bahrain um, I had to pick my cats from the daycare and Zena got a flu um, because this was the first time I left my cats for such a long time at daycare. Even though it's well ventilated, you're going to have a lot of litter there and um, cats usually develop allergies from different cats and uh, you need to be prepared for that. But as soon as I got back, uh, Zena got cold and sniffles and it was me going to so many wet visits every other day because we wanted to make sure she doesn't have asthma, which she thankfully doesn't. My older cat has asthma. Um, it's genetic because she's a mix of Persian. It was so chaotic, you guys. Zena gave the flu to Misty. So now I have two cats who are sneezing and coughing all over the place. It's so cute, but I felt so bad for them because their nose would get all red. It was so chaotic. The first 20 days of me getting back to India in May was so, so hectic. And as soon as that was done, I had a little bit of flu that I got towards the ending of my Bahrain trip. And I had a little bit of cough and phlegm and it got too much to a point where I had to go for Ayurveda treatments because all of the sinuses like all of this was so swollen I had headaches like multiple times in a day that's one of the reasons why I haven't been very active on social media in the months of May and June like this month uh, apart from that my mom was here as well we also had home decor that we wanted to do we had to get kitchen cabinets like the wall cabinets made we had a special design in mind that we wanted you know with the lights how they're gonna fall we had to do the main door we had so much of work to be done and amidst all of that my cats being sick and me getting sick and you know I had to go to Ayurvedic centers because I did like a week-long course which I'll talk about in another video about how they treated my sinus
sinusitis i feel a whole lot better now as soon as the work was done we had to plan my brother's wedding you guys so on instagram if you follow me there i'm pretty sure you'll remember that i asked you guys to help me with contacts of photographers makeup artists hairstylists so this is precisely why i needed all of that information the wedding is in november and we are doing all of this planning between three countries so i'm the only one in india my mom and dad are back home in bahrain my brother is in indiana in america and he's there with his wife sarah so it's going to be an intercultural wedding they're already married as of last year but i couldn't go because of covid and there were no flights going from india i wasn't able to enter bahrain too in september this year we're going to do an indian wedding it's going to be really nice like a punjabi wedding and we're in the process of planning all of that now this concealer looks really nice you guys i like how this has a very nice neutral to cool tone kind of an undertone it doesn't feel too yellow so it gives me this very nice pinky kind of a feel on my skin that i'm absolutely digging i'm gonna use the fixing compact powder from essence this is all about matte i think this was available in india <laughs> I'm going to use the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. This isn't a compact, you guys. I thought this was a compact. It's actually a very nice light loose powder that's tinted. It's got a very nice cool tone kind of an effect. This does give me a very cool mattifying effect. I really like that. I'm going to bronze my face with my new gosh bronzer, you guys. This is so, so good. I haven't swatched this one. This is brand new, but I did test this out at the pharmacy and this is in the shade Natural Glow. I have been eyeing this for quite some time now. Gosh is slightly more expensive, more expensive than Essence and Catrice. And this is not something that I would suggest as completely budget friendly because it is a little pricey. But on a discount at a pharmacy, you can get this at an amazing deal. I'm using very light motions. Uh, this is not the most pigmented, but it does give you a decent amount of pigmentation. So what I like to do with my bronzer is apply this right above the hollow because the hollow is where you go in with your contour to add shadows. But with a bronzer, you go slightly higher. So it gives you a higher cheekbone kind of a look. So this looks pretty good, you guys. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is how I kind of lost inspiration midway because I bit more than I could choose. So I had a lot of collaborations that I really needed the money for. Also, it's business. So you have to have collaborations in place to have a payroll, right? And I took up some work, but because I got sick during my travels towards the ending, I couldn't really work. And as soon as I got back, Misty and Zena were sick with the wet visits and everything. So much paid content piled up. So recently you'll see that so many paid pieces just went back to back, back to back. And that is not how I like to work. I like to place paid content with organic content, space them out because I don't like only paid content all over my feed. You know, when you're just working on a timeline where you just have to work, 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 finish it, finish it, test this product, test that product, you don't have time for creativity. Because you know what, guys? Content creation needs to be fun. It needs to be something that you enjoy doing, that you're passionate about. Because if you're not passionate about and the minute it gets boring is the minute you're going to lose complete interest. And that's what started happening to me. The lower engagement on Instagram, you guys, Instagram algorithm has been so challenging. Also, we have so many new content creators right and that really takes a toll on your self um, esteem uh, even though they say numbers don't matter but from you know getting thousands and hundred thousand views to just getting barely few and the engagement goes for a drop you constantly second guess the kind of content you're putting up and it becomes very very taxing and that is something that took a huge toll on me and what I started doing was even recently I took like seven eight days off without posting on Instagram I haven't posted long format videos on YouTube also in so long and um, that takes a toll on your overall engagement and what that does is that your content is now not accessible to the masses because the people on your list aren't engaging with your content so that just kind of put me in a very bad place and I just needed to really sit back and come back to myself and understand why I started in the first place. I want to talk about cruelty-free makeup. I want to talk about veganism. I want to talk about things that make me happy, things that inspire, things about mental health, lifestyle, so many things, right? So now I'm going to be doing that because I had the time to really sit and evaluate the last six months of this year and what I've been doing and what I can do better. And um, this is something that, you know, I need to constantly revisit from time to time, like get back to my core. And the core of me is cruelty-free, 
vegan, sustainable, um, being having these personal connections with you all. And I really had to do that, dude. The only saving grace was reading all of your comments, reading all of your comments on Instagram, reading your comments on YouTube, seeing your concerned messages for me. And it truly made my day. It made me feel like I was a part of something a whole lot bigger. This is not just me sitting in front of a camera and talking about things I love. This is me connecting with people, humans who resonate with me. And um, I had to pick myself up, even though today I had to sit and shoot paid content. I was like, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to sit and I'm going to do me. I'm going to talk about makeup. I wanted to do this haul video for so long. Girl, I had to do it for so long and I finally did it. So... I feel like I'm blabbering too much, but there's so much that's been going on and I feel like I get that opportunity to talk about all of this on YouTube in a longer format. Back to makeup, you guys. Now, I'm going to use this one right here. I got this free with my order. This is an eyeshadow base. I love color intensifying eyeshadow base from Essence. Very affordable stuff and this is really good. It's a nice... Um, cool toned pink kind of an undertone which i absolutely love Just blending this out with my fingers you guys i mean you can obviously use a brush too but uh <laughs> I'm just gonna use my fingers. It's always easier to blend eyeshadow bases with uh, fingers because the heat of your finger just helps to spread this out a whole lot better. I'm gonna use this bronzer from Gosh that I used on my face and just use that all over my lid. Well, not all over my lid, on the outer crease and just above the crease to give it some depth. So I got this eyeshadow free and then I bought this. This is the Melted Chrome Eyeshadow and you guys, this formulation is everything it looks stunning on the pan and stunning on the hand it gives you this beautiful reflective finish it literally feels like wet skin so this is what it looks like without the light hitting it and here you go it looks so beautiful on the lid i immediately got my hands on this one so this is in the shade 02 ironic and this is in platinum nights it gives you a smoky kind of a feel with that iridescence you guys with nice cool toned purple with some blue and some black that looks so so beautiful i feel this formula is very very different from your regular eyeshadows so i'm just going to use my finger i'm just going to blend out the edges with the same fluffy brush i need to add some more color guys so i'm going to use this rough shade right here from huda beauty naughty nude and just place it on the outer corner i'm going to use the shade ironic this one right here and i'm using this just above the inner corner maybe i can drag this down as well let's see if i tap it right here okay that looks really good this looks so good you guys look at that wet look that it gives you from every single angle absolutely love this Ooh, it's raining and storming you guys the sound is going to come through in the video so i'm really sorry about that so i got this eyeshadow for free this is from um gosh again it's the forever eyeshadow stick this is the shade silver rose and it is stunning it isn't the most crease proof formula but if you apply this on an eyeshadow base this is going to last you really long the next one that i got free oh it's actually a liquid lipstick but it's the essence melted chrome liquid lipstick okay so it's a whole range i'm definitely not going to be using metallic colors for my lips so i think that's why i remembered that i will be using this as an eyeshadow copper dropper number three really beautiful but you'll never see me wear something like this on my lips and walk around we need to do some eyeliner i'm going to use a brown eyeliner from catrice again this is the 18r color and contour eye pencil and this is in the shade um stella mcbrownie i love this brown color it's not too brown it's actually very very dark brown so it's softer than your usual black liner but it's not that light as a brown eyeliner this looks so good you guys i'm so happy with this eye makeup look this looks really nice this is something you can easily wear for an event for a wedding guest kind of a makeup look now in the same range i have the white color right here this is the same eyeliner range the one that i have on my eyes i'm going to use this for my waterline ever so slightly this gives me a beautiful doll like finish i really like it i need to amp this up with a good mascara and draw in my eyebrows so if you don't want to use something that's super white like this you can use a nice nude color as well pack has a very good nude coal that i've been using for years and years superb finish i'm going to use both of these one on each eye this is the gosh 
Curve length definition mascara. I haven't used this before. I haven't used any mascaras from Gosh, so this was my first purchase of mascaras from the brand. And then we have the You Better Work mascara. This one's from Essence, and this is a volume and curl mascara. It's gym proof and waterproof. So to amp all of this up, I'm going to use the Fake It Lash Primer. This is from Gosh. I love lash primers, but I don't really use them very, very often because I do have good lashes. But today we're going to experiment with this. This has a very nice gray undertone to it. The I eyelash primers that I've used have a very nice white color to it so it makes your eyelash colors like supposing you're going for blue lashes or purple mascara and all of that the white color will really make it stand out we need to let this dry down you guys and only then I can go ahead with mascara so we're gonna wait till this dries down now another thing that I wanted to update you guys on is that I really want to start talking more about mental health on YouTube I definitely want to talk about food like I did last year you know vegan food Food, vegan milk a lot of you guys keep asking me about good supplements protein powders and everything that are vegan friendly so that is something I definitely want to talk more about this year um, this year has been so crazy you know the year started off with Misty again being really sick she had really really bad skin infection she picked up ringworm I think from my garden and I didn't know so when I gave her a shower it just spread and the medicines reacted really badly. My poor cat, she lost like three and a half kilos. She was all bones. Her skin had no fur and I didn't post a lot of stories of Misty then because she was so sick. And that is something I haven't really spoken about much because those three months were very traumatizing for me to see my cat that way. Um, one day she just got a very bad fever and that went on for like two whole nights and it was pretty, pretty chaotic. And um, I try not to think about that. That just made me feel like I could actually lose my cat anytime, you know. Um, and this was completely the medicine reacting with her it was just her bad luck dude because that is a medicine like ketoconazole is something that I think I'm saying it right is a medicine that's prescribed to um, dandruff for humans as well for animals as well for ringworm and all fungal infections and somehow that solution did not work for her and um, we had to change her food we had to put on so many medicines and we had to put on antifungals and it was a hot mess and I had to save Zena because both the cats when they hang out she might also pick up the ringworm so I had to take care of all of that while working and make sure that I'm not showing my stress levels on photos, on camera, on my recordings. It was very difficult. Last year was a breeze and this year has just been one thing after another. I'm always on my toes. Something always is catching me off guard and um, I truly believe because I'm spiritual and I work with energy and tarot and I truly believe that um, when life is trying to challenge you is when you have the opportunity of growth of being a better person of yourself things like this can make you better or better and that's completely your choice so I choose to be better and you know every once in a while things like these will humble you and bring you back to earth sometimes you get too proud of the things that you have in life and when things like these happen they really bring you down even this year um, my anxiety has not been the best uh, because I realized that I stopped doing small things that kind of spark joy for me so for example just going out for a drive by myself or taking myself out to a date for coffee dates and working in cafes honestly it's all because of lockdown because I got so used to sitting at home and just working from home working in my balcony I stopped going to coffee shops so usually what I would do I would take my laptop or, or take a notebook and just scribble thoughts and just be in a creative environment that inspires you for better ideas and I stopped doing that I stopped coloring that is something that sparks a lot of joy for me my anxiety has not been the best I did have a um, very bad panic attack um, episodes that just made me have this outer body experience and um, completely disassociating with what was around me I realized that I need to do things that spark joy and um, one of them is to get back to coloring, get back to regular yoga, get back to going out on drives, going out for dates just by myself. And um, that's just things, uh, cooking. Cooking is something I stopped doing. I don't cook a lot like I did before. And honestly, these might sound like small things, but for somebody who suffers from anxiety, you need to do things on a regular basis that spark joy because your anxiety could go up and down and that's gonna result in weight gain, weight loss, you know, food yo-yoing, your gut is gonna go for a toss. So um, that is something that I have been uh, battling with. And I think I'm doing a fantastic job because my parents are so supportive. My mom, like even when she was here, I got a panic attack like twice or thrice. Um, I had to wake her up at five in the morning. I was like, I can't breathe. And I was in the living room and, you know, I had to elevate myself with like three pillows and just 
breathe and just sleep and then i play like a hymn anything even calming yoga music just to have some noise going on in the background to knock me to sleep it was really bad because there were so many things happening back to back i'm sharing all of these things with you so that you understand where i'm coming from and when on certain days my content doesn't show up on time it's because of multiple reasons also my laptop you guys my laptop was so so old my temper would just shoot the minute I had to open it because it was so slow. So I got a MacBook recently, like a week ago, and everything is fast, honey. I message, I mail, I call. I just do multiple things at the same time, and it's instantly boosts my creativity. So yeah, these are a lot of things that were impacting me. And I also started Tarot. I have a separate uh, channel on Instagram. I'm going to leave it on the screen. So that's where I give uh, spiritual advice and um I want to be like a mentor, spiritual mentor, spiritual coach, mindset coach. That is something that I'm working on. But I started the page and then so many things happened. So I was unable to actually be active on it. But this year, very soon, I'm going to start online tarot readings where I will help you guys out on your spiritual journeys. I want to make content that's going to be helpful for you in your spiritual path. Things that you can do according to energy healing, vastu, things that you can do with um, improving your mindset game. So those are like some of my biggest life updates that I really wanted to share with you all in case you don't follow me on Instagram. So um, I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Hey, man, like follow me there. <laughs> I promise I'm fun. But uh, that's that's pretty much it, you guys. So now I'm going to get back to uh, mascara. I think I'm pretty much done with life updates. Do I have more? We'll see as as we do the makeup. So <laughs> I'm going to apply this on one eyelash side and I'm going to apply this on the other. So let's start with this. This is the You Better Work Mascara. This has a beautiful uh, wand. It's got a nice curve, which means we're going to get really cool, curvy, curly lashes. And um, this primer, though, it's doing a very, very good job. Ooh, we have the doll lashes, you guys. This mascara is everything. Look at the length that it's given me. It's given me intense volume other side we're gonna use this one right here again this is a curling uh, mascara it has a very nice finish this hasn't dried down so I'm gonna compare both the sides honestly this side looks a whole lot better even in close up this is a little clumpy man I'm not that happy with this I think the mascara dried down because this side looks flawless it doesn't feel clumpy it doesn't give me that intense spider lashes kind of a look this looks very fanned out pretty good stuff man so for eyebrows i bought the catrice slim matic ultra precise brow pencil this is super super thin uh very similar to i think the nyx ones that are super thin with my orders i got these two free so this one's from essence this one is from catrice i think both of them are hardcore competitors of each other this is the brow comb micro pen and this is the eyebrow pen so both of them have these um tiny bristles right here that give you like three strokes in one go darker one is catrice and the lighter one is um essence let's go <laughs> i am not really happy with how this looks maybe i'm doing it wrong i really don't know um i will have to practice a little more but uh i have a certain products like these from kiko as well that really didn't work man let me try the essence one maybe maybe i'm doing something wrong let's see yeah no <laughs> that's not working for me i'm just gonna stick with the pencil um, the rain's gotten a whole lot louder and the storm is crazy right now. I'm going to use the thin pencil right here and just fill in these areas. This looks so beautiful, you guys. This is an absolute winner. The Slimmatic Ultra Precise Eyebrow Pencil from uh, Catrice in Cool Brown. This is a cool toned brown. It's not warm toned. So it does have a very nice ashy finish that looks really nice on my skin. So this is um, the Thick It Stick It brow mascara it's a thickening brow mascara and i think it's got like hair like fibers yeah right here okay vegan formula with hair like fibers this is from nyx you guys how cool is that most of the products of nyx are not even launched in india man i'm just gonna try coating my um, eyebrows and see what this looks like now with products like these you definitely need a setting spray because if you sweat then all of these loose fibers are going to be all over your face and that is not going to be a good time, man. This actually looks pretty good. It's a little too dark, but it actually looks pretty good. I just hope I don't ruin my entire look. <gasps> 
just when I said that I didn't want to ruin my entire look. Ooh, that was a close save. Quickly brush this out before it just stays in one place. This gives me a whole look that I have thicker brows, even though I don't. And um, the finish is really nice. It's not very tacky and it dries down pretty matte and it doesn't transfer any fibers. Every single hair strand of mine looks thicker. So I have five lipsticks right here. I'm gonna quickly swatch them. This is from Gosh, and this is Liquid Matte Lips Red Carpet 005. This is a nice red color, you guys, and it's one of the most comfortable liquid lipstick that I have worn. Next one is something I wore quite a bit. This is from Catrice, and this is the Matte Lover Lipstick Pen in the shade Top It With Cinnamon. It makes your lips a little dark, to be honest, so it's definitely going to give you a very kind of a punk rock goth kind of a look because it's super cool tone. These two are from Gosh again, my newfound loves. You can use them on your lips and your cheeks. Now this one is in the shade Hot Kiss and this is a stunning, stunning pink color. Hot Kiss is a color that I applied quite a bit, you guys. This one is Hot Kiss and this is Flirty Kiss. So I think this will go really well with today's look. And this is the Vegan Collagen Matte Lipstick in shade number 110B Invisible. Look at that, you guys. It is creamy matte and it settles down to this beautiful matte color. I'm gonna use Hot Kiss, you guys. This is one of the most comfortable lip colors ever, you guys. It feels so nice on the lips. I'm gonna dab a little bit of this on the cheek to just quickly blend it out. Look at how beautifully this blended out, you guys. I am living my doll fantasy right now. This looks stunning. We need to add some highlighter. I've got two here from Catrice. These are the Supreme Rose Beam and Ultimate Platinum Glaze Highlighters from the More Than Glow Highlighter range. These highlighters are so beautiful, first of all, and they look stunning on the skin. They give you this wet look without being over the top. And one last step, you guys, let's do some nice lip gloss. So when I went to Bahrain, I forgot to carry my lip glosses. I packed them in a bag and I left them on my bed. The first one is Lumi Lips from Gosh, and this is in the shade I Love You, I-L-Y-003. Now the cool part about this is that not only do you have a beautiful formulation right here, when you're applying your lip gloss in the dark, now obviously I have studio lights, but you see there's no light here, but when you turn this, the light inside goes on. So now you have some light. Can you see the light on my fingers and my hands? You close it and the light goes off. So this is amazing if you want to apply lip gloss in the dark. I think this is such a random addition, but honestly, such a cool one. So when I'm applying my lip gloss, the light falls on that area. Can you see that? The next one is from Catrice and this is the Generation Plump and Shine. This is very similar to my Kiko one and this is in Sparkling Coral. Last one is from this brand called BYS Velvet Lips. It's a cruelty-free brand and um, this is in the shade... 2626 Wicked Plum. Oh, this is more like a lipstick. Oh, it's a liquid lipstick. Okay, sorry, my bad, you guys. This is a liquid lipstick. I still haven't used it, so I wasn't sure. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful plum color. My bad, this is a liquid lipstick. So we have only two lip glosses right here. One, so you see this one right here? The coral color is what this color is. And the other one is a very nice, light kind of a baby pink look that doesn't feel over the top. Both of these have intense shine you guys so right now i don't want to add a coral color because it looked too orange so i'm going to go with this one right here let's go so now you can see how the light is shining directly on my face as i'm moving this look at that how cool is that so i had no idea how this makeup look would come along and this is something that i've been meaning to do for so long but this looks so so good Oh my god, I love this lip gloss. So this is an entire makeup look of using budget-friendly products from drugstores featuring Catrice, we've got NYX, we've got Essence, gosh, I really like how this came along and even BYS, that was the first time I heard of that brand. I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated with everything, with all of my wedding looks for my brother's wedding and all of that in the coming months. But for now, I'm going to be back with creating content, back with being active everywhere, reviving all of my content pieces again and just being back to work because I really needed this time to myself and my anxiety is also a whole lot better. So um, I will definitely make a video on different tips and routines and things that I've been doing that improved my anxiety and also things that kind of 
made it worse so you can learn from me and we can grow together i really hope you guys would appreciate that kind of content but for today's look if you enjoyed this and if you think this is something that you would possibly wear let me know in the comments if you like this please hit the like button so that i know you enjoyed watching this long life update and get ready with me with bahrain haul video i'm gonna take your leave now you guys but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and check out my previous videos right here I will catch you all in the next videos with a whole lot more content. See you very soon. Bye.